Let's see what this... Ooh. This is not going to be usable for the rest of the day. Oops. It's your girl, Luna. We're live, and I have an update on my job hunt. Okay, I'm really stoked about this. So my friend works at a restaurant. He is a chef, and between you and me, I can make a killer omelet. And he just said he can't make it to work today, so he's letting me fill in. I honestly think this could be my calling. I love to eat, and I'm pretty good at making toast. Let's see if I got what it takes to be a chef. Come along with me. Welcome to the Gourmet Grub. I consider myself a huge foodie. I'm also kind of a master chef, great at making toast. I think I can handle cooking for a professional restaurant. So today I'm filling in for my friend at the Gourmet Grub. Oh, I have a task already, get cooking. We are going to fry up some bacon and some eggs. I got this, oops. No one has to know I dropped this on the ground, right? This I'll try not to be completely disgusting today, but if I were at home, I would totally still eat it, no judgment. Eh, that's still edible. Let's turn this bad boy off. Your order is ready. All right, you want a smoothie? I got you. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of tomato or whatever that is, apple. Got some oranges. The best part about a smoothie is it's open to interpretation. You could put anything in there. Like, let's let's put some toast in here. Make it a bad boy. Let's see what happens. All right, here you go. Your toast fruit smoothie. Everything you need for a hearty breakfast to get the day going. I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way. You can come pick it up over here. Why, hello there. Might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? That actually sounds amazing right now. I want some crumpets too. Let's get that hot go. Oh. Oh, wow. Fancy. This will make it much easier to heat up some water. We only need a small. Oh, no. I'm causing a mess. Ah, I'm going to blow up this kitchen unintentionally. I don't know if this man's going to get his tea, but I can get you crumpets if I didn't eat them already. Which, between you and me, I may have. I'm just going to make this easier for everyone involved, a.k.a. myself, and just fill this up. That's perfect. I think cold tea is just as great as hot tea, so grab a cup and uh, fill her up with the, the cold tea oop, mix. Oh, man. I'm failing at this job, too. This probably would have been the easiest way to do this from the beginning, but I like to be experiential or experimental. I like to experiment with the way I make things. Perfect. And we have a perfectly warm cup of tea. And then, oh no, it's foaming everywhere. Where would I get crumpets from in this kitchen? Oh, is this a crumpet? That looks like a crumpet. Or maybe that's whole grain bread. I should probably eat that and find out. Mmm, whatever it is, it's good. I'm gonna just try and make an omelet. An omelet is never complete without a side of toast. Oh no, there we go. And then just throw a mushroom on. And then, no, oh, it's burning. Okay. Well, it's edible still. I say that is a success. Although this, not edible anymore. Bye, no one has to know about you. Uh-oh. It is lighting up, no! I don't want my friend to get fired! Okay, come on, out. I should probably turn that off first. No, no! There we go, oops, okay. I don't know how you correctly monitor the length of time you're cooking something for. It's like you leave it for a second and it burns up, but you gotta cook it for some amount of time. Ugh. This looks edible-ish. If you squint from a distance and you're across the room and you're bending down and holding it to the light, it kind of looks edible. Oh, maybe not. Apparently, I'm not a very good cook, but the good news is I can't get fired because they never hired me to begin with. I hope my friend doesn't get fired, but if she does, she could join me on my job hunt. If you guys want to join too, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you could join me next time. I'm Luna, and let's see if I get a job after this.